Whilst road racing has made considerable inroads in Japan over the last few years, it still trails in popularity compared to the nation's number one cycling discipline. Kieran Cycling generates an annual income of $16.5 million from 50 velodromes across the country and supports 4,300 professional riders. The rules are simple. Be in front at the end of a 2,000-metre race. Perhaps it's the simplicity which makes Kieran one of the ten most popular sports in Japan. All of these riders make a living from Kieran and Kieran alone, unlike their track racing counterparts in other countries. Gambling is quintessential to Kieran's existence. Since the sport's inception in 1948, about $360 billion has been wagered. Gambling guarantees popularity and the money people spend more than meets all of the sport's costs. That's how the Japan Kirin Association was able to build the magnificent Kirin School in Shizhenji at a cost of $200 million. Each pupil must repay 80% of the 1 million yen tuition fees upon turning professional, but to get that far, they first have to endure a gruelling selection procedure. 1,600 applicants are whittled down to the 150 men who eventually attend, and from the moment these lucky few wake up, every minute of their day is rigidly organised. Yet the students, aged between 18 and 24, are not treated as army recruits. At least, that's what the school principal says. There are no women here at all. We live in a separate community away from the world. We try to develop the spirit that you would find in a Buddhist monastery. And one of the ways of achieving this is short haircuts. We're trying to help the pupils understand that they shouldn't be distracted by worldly things. They should concentrate on their training. The reason for the uniform is probably something unique in Japan. It's a spiritual thing. All the pupils wear the same clothes, which are chosen by the school. We expect them to lead a group-orientated life. Of course, we're not an army. There are no such things as ranks or hierarchies. We just encourage them to feel a sense of unity. The student's sense of unity comes from their common sense of purpose. With 4,300 professional positions to be filled and only graduates of this school accepted, the odds on them making a living out of Kiran are very good. Despite a common goal, each has a different motive for making the journey to Shizhenji. I'm fascinated with speed, and I thought cycling is the sport where man travels fastest. Keirin is the largest professional sport in Japan, so on a practical level, I thought Keirin would be the best sport for me. The daily routine begins after breakfast with two hours of classes. Aerodynamics, race strategies and all of the finer points of the sport are spelled out in painstaking detail. In order to put theory into practice, they have to go for a grueling two-hour workout on the rollers. Vigilance is constant, as every effort is made to iron out deficiencies in technique. The school also boasts state-of-the-art monitoring equipment, which analyzes the students' endurance capabilities. Finally, they get to go out onto the track. To warm up for race practice, the riders divide into race size groups of eight or nine. In order to work on positions and tactics, however, they must switch to race colours. Just three riders are realistically expected to win. The others act in the same way as road race domestiques, manoeuvring their man into an attacking position for the final lap. Those few elite riders that ascend to the status of All-Star have the opportunity to travel to the All-Star meets, the high points of the Kieran calendar. Behind the scenes, 99 riders are taking it easy before their race comes up. Or frantically trying to get their bikes ready. The traditional drummers help set a furious pace for the six-day competition which attracts attention and $39 million worth of wages from across the country. For the riders, it is a week of action-packed racing.
Last year's race saw a typically tight battle when 1987 Sprint World Champion Nobuyuki Tawara in red sprinted into an attacking position just behind the pace setter. But Tawara has to hold off the attacks of rivals Hiroshi Kodama in black and Michihiro Takahashi in the yellow and black. On the final bend, Takahashi forced his way to the front. Takahashi claimed his first All-Star title and took home a check for 30 million yen, about $300,000, doubling his earnings for the season. His financial debt to Shijenji may be no more than a memory, but together with hundreds of other riders, the lessons he learned there will last forever.